Hi, I'm Clint Johnson. I'm a speech language pathologist with Super Duper Publications, and I want to welcome you to the Weber Photo Articulation Castle. This educational app from Super Duper Publications is going to include 3,000 photo words and 24 phonemes for children to practice their articulation skills at the word, phrase, and sentence level. It's also going to include eight entertaining learning games. There's Photo Fun, which is kind of a standard flashcard game. There are six different arcade games, Balloon Pop, Duck Derby, Fishing Rodeo, Hidden Treasure, Raceway, and Space Explorer. Additionally, there are two matching games. Level one is going to use six pairs of cards. Level two is going to use 10 pairs of cards, and that's a total of 20 cards. And just like a regular matching game, students are going to try to find matching pairs of cards while practicing their target sounds. Before we take a look at the Artic app, I do want to let you know that there is a free version of this app that's available as well. You can get that from iTunes. It's just for the B sound, but it includes all of the functionality that I'm going to show you right now. All right, so let's take a look at the Weber Photo Artic app. And we're gonna go to the menu screen. And as you can see, I have start new session, continue session, quick play, players, and results. To begin, we're gonna add a player. And I just click the plus sign and I enter in the student's name. And we're going to enter Dave and I can choose to add a goal. Now here are all of your sounds. They're divided out by stops, nasals, glides, fricatives, fricatives, liquids, and all of your blend sounds are down at the bottom and you can see all those right here. I tap a sound, so we're gonna choose the S sound and now I can tailor my goal to meet the individual needs of the student. I have my response type. I can do imitated or spontaneous. I can also choose to activate positions by simply tapping here. I can do initial, medial, final, or recurring. I can also look at the syllableness of a word, so I can choose to have one syllable, two syllable, or greater than two syllable words. And for this one, we're just gonna do one syllable words. I can also choose to present my stimuli items at the word, phrase, or sentence level. I can change my accuracy simply by swiping this bar right here. And then I can also view all of the words that would be in my um, game that I'm gonna play. And so here you can see the picture. I click done and exit out. And then I choose my scoring type. The green is correct, X is incorrect. I also have approximated and cued. For this one, I just wanna do correct and incorrect. And then I click done and now my goal is all created. If I didn't like that goal, I could just delete the player down here. Um, now you can see that I have all of the players entered and we're going to choose our players by starting a new session. And I already have four of these. Let's add one more and then click next. And now you can see all the goals for each student. Now, if I have a student that has multiple goals, I can tap change goal right here. And then you can see all of the goals for that student. If I didn't want to work on a specific sound that day and wanted to change it, I can choose like say for the Z sound and then I'm gonna click next. And now here's where all of my games are gonna come up. I have Photo Fun, Balloon Pop, Duck Derby, Fishing Rodeo, Hidden Treasure, Raceway, Space Explorer, and then my two match games. Let's just look at Photo Fun for right now. And as you can see, if I wanna play this, I just tap the picture. Costumes. Have the child repeat it, and then I can score it right down here. It's going to auto advance to the next player. I tap Save. it and then I can click right here. I have um, Harry come up now and he's gonna work on the word mop and mop. again, just tap it. Now, if I wanted to record him saying that, I click, I simply tap on the record button and I'm gonna say mop, tap stop, and then tap play. And I'm gonna say mop, tap stop, and then I can confirm that if I was happy with that and I want to add that to his results section. So now we've recorded our production and let's say that we wanted to change our game. I tap more up here and you can see I have switch games and let's look at Duck Derby.
Now to play Duck Derby, all I'm gonna do is tap a duck. It can be any one. And you'll see a point that come up. And those are just gonna be calculated up in the right hand side. I score it. And then the duck swims along. Now Mary's up. And here comes her sound. And she clicks correct on that. And then I have Sam come up. And as you can see, the, the points are just random. It's just a fun way for the kids to play. Um, tap correct on that. And then we're done for a round of play. Now, if I want to view my results right in the middle of a game, I just tap on view results. And then you can see kind of how they're doing. Um, and then I can turn that off by going back to my game. I can also go to the results screen right here. Now, this is going to give me a more detailed um, results. And so I choose a player, and we'll look at Mary. And as you can see, here is everything that she's been practicing. I can choose a sound, and I can see all of the words that she has gotten correct or incorrect. I can also tap the sound itself to view a graph. I can go back, and I can email all those results to myself, or I can email them to Mary's parents, um, anybody that would like to see Mary's results, I can send to them. Um, one of the great things about this app is that it will save your data over time. You don't have to email it every single time. It's not gonna reset um, and you lose that data. This data is kept in your device the entire time. Uh, the email function is just simply something that you can do if you wanna notify people of, of how the child's doing at this time. Um, you can also print this from an AirPrint enabled printer. So if you have one of the AirPrint enabled printers, just tap more and then tap print and you can see all of the results right there. I can also choose to view the results by date and then it'll tell me everybody that was in that specific session on a specific date. Now, if I don't want to start an entire session, choose goals for everybody, I can just choose quick play. This would just be for a single player as you can see, I already have R um, pulled up up here. And the thing about R is that R is a little bit different. You do get vocalic and pre-vocalic R with the R sound. I also can change my game if I'd like. And we'll look at, I like Space Explorer. It's pretty cool. And I tap start. And then I tap on a spaceship and can tap correct or incorrect. So again, it's gonna play much the same way, but you're not gonna have the results that you get with the other, um, with a real session. But that's just a quick and easy way to play. Now I can also go back to any sessions I want to, or I can close that session out. So I can just choose one session, and then I can close that session right here. And this does turn the data tracking off for that specific session. So now that session's closed, or I can choose to close all of those sessions. Now every session I have is closed out. Now you can leave sessions open because if you want to put in notes at the end of the day, um, you can do that. And I didn't quite show you that. Let's go back and we'll look at the notes section. So if I have, let's say Brandy up, and then I wanted to click on that, I tap on that and then I have my notes section right here and then I can just type any type of note that I want, tap save, and now that is attached to those results. This is a great, great app. It has got everything you need in it. You can do an unlimited number of goals for all of your um, students. You can track as much data as you wish, as little or as much as you wish, really. Um, and all of your help section is right here. If you have any questions, it's very easy, spelled out for you so you can see everything you need. With the Weber Photo Articulation Castle, you can customize your play by adding an unlimited number of players and goals. You can choose the quick play option to begin playing without entering players and goals. It's gonna have 2,200 clear photos on distraction-free white backgrounds. This is gonna make for 3,000 target words. It has 24 sounds. It has sounds that are in the initial, medial, final, or recurring position of words, phrases, and sentences. You have the ability to choose words by their syllable type. You have audio for all the words, phrases, and sentences. You can record your player's productions, play them back, and save the recordings. 
You can manually or automatically advance to the next card and or player. And as I said before, this is going to work on the iPhone, iPad, and the iPod Touch. So it is a universal app. So any device you have, you can put it on and use it anywhere you'd like. Um, the data tracking is going to let educators and parents score student responses as correct, incorrect, approximate, and or cued. You can keep track of data for all players. You can view player results for all the sessions at any time and examine student progress over time using our graphs. And of course, you can email, print, and share your results. I hope you love the Weber Photo Articulation Castle. We certainly had a good time making it. You can come see us at superduperink.com or check us out on Facebook.